hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i want to show you how to trade reversals if you have never known how you trade reversals this is the best video this is the best choice that you have done and the best thing with this video is that the reversal you will get it on five minutes so you'll be able to catch the reversals at an early stages because of course lower time frame gives us sniper entry or quick entry or fast entry than higher time frame so in this video i just want to show you how to trade reversals and before and we'll be using five minutes here yeah. so we'll be using five minutes okay so first of all let me explain what is reversal because i don't want to assume that everyone who is watching this video know exactly what i mean so this is what you do uh market uh, we have three types of market structure. We have an uptrend. Uh, that is the market structure. We have a downtrend. Downtrend is where sellers are in control. We have a downtrend. And we have where both sellers and buyers are in control. So we have a sideways market. We can call it a ranging market. So whenever you have um, a, an uptrend, a reversal of an uptrend will always be a uh, sell opportunity a reversal of a, a downtrend will always be an uptrend so for the ranging market we don't have a reversal because it's ranging we don't know who it is to win but for the uptrend market the reversal is a downtrend for up for downtrend the reversal is on an uptrend so the first thing that you need to understand is that majority of times people confuse you might have these two setups. Let me show you. You might have an uptrend, and then this is the reversal. So tell me if you spot the difference. So this is the reversal where the market is going down. So this is the reversal. And the reversal mostly does not look exactly like what I've drawn. The reversal uh, will also have uh, sellers coming down, up, down, up down up and by the time you realize it's a reversal the market has gone back to where it belonged uh, where it came from but there's a sometimes you might have an uptrend market going up trend going up trend and then you're not even sure is this market a downtrend and then it reaches a place creates a double bottom and then the market goes up so i understand that majority of people get confused they don't know if this is a reversal is this a reversal or a, a, a retracement so between a reversal is a complete change so if you want to explain if you want to say what does reversal mean in the market Reversal in the market means a complete change of direction uh, or a long-term change of direction, either buying or selling. In this one, you can see it's a long-term change. But a, a retracement, in this case, a retracement is a short-term change. So when a market is doing retest, it will do a short-term change. Now, in this video, I have done so many videos showing you how to do a retest. So you need to know, if I want to know the market is a retest, a retest retest i will always get a double bottom or a double top so retest mostly the market will come and create this double bottom the way i've shown you so mostly retest the markets create retest markets create double bottom or double bot double top that is the, the retest but for the reversal hey a reversal is what I'm showing you right now. If you want to know market has uh, has broken is a reversal, it has no pattern and it it breaks either it breaks the high highs and the high lows and that's why I want to show you this video. How do you tell that this market finally is a reversal, okay? So what I want us to do is that if I come and open this chart, so sellers have been having uh, party so sellers have been having it this is gbpsd this is the current market so you can see this is what we had on last week on wednesday so you can see the market is a very very big downtrend okay um and in such a case you may not know that if i pull if i pull this trade like this uh i may 
call this a retracement because it's you can see we have a bigger picture we can have a bigger picture this is an uptrend we can call this a retracement and then the market goes up if you do that what if if i'm watching if this is where i'm watching i'm watching my chart uh from from here if i'm watching my chart from here and this is the all the information i have i will take this as a downtrend and will be thinking will the market retrace or will it reverse so if this market wants to retrace retracement the market can either come here create a double top hit that double top go down or come here create a double top or come here so for retracement is easier because as the market is going up it's either it comes here create a double top and then continues to go down or comes here create this double top or this and then goes down but if it is a reversal you will find this market going all the way so it might be all the way like that so the reversals are different from retracement now this is how you trade any reversal you'll ever see in the market number one i want you to always wait for a pin bar or a, a hammer mostly so i want you to spot a hammer in your chart uh, and once you spot the hammer and it can be either for daily weekly whichever you will go to five minutes and you are looking for bullish anger that's what uh, for me I, I have been doing uh back testing and and realizing oh by the way i can catch reversal with very at an early stage so what have i said the market is on a let's let's uh, uh, let's realize what has happened here you see here we will do this case study when this market was coming down we only had this uh hammer we had only one hammer yeah so this is the hammer we had so i want us to observe when the market is going down and we had a hammer here we can see we had another hammer around here so that is the second one so it's like Mostly when the market is changing direction, the market will always create that. And then all along, we didn't have a hammer. We didn't have a hammer. And we had a hammer around here. So this is, it, might, it, it looks like a hammer. But I'm just trying to show you, when market is on a downtrend, if there's an important candle that you need to watch out is this hammer. And I know you are watching this video and you don't know how a hammer looks like. And then now we have another hammer. So hammer is a rejection candle that has at least a body. It can be a red hammer or a green hammer. It doesn't matter. And the wick is below. So that's what a hammer is. It may have a tail. It may have a tail like that and it can either be green or red so this is a green hammer and a red hammer a bullish hammer and a bearish hammer so that's what you will be looking for mostly um so if you have um if you have a market that you're thinking is this a retracement is this a retest so i will be looking at these two candles and once i spot them and i have shown you you can see when you spot them you look for a buy because you you're thinking the market will reverse and in this strategy we are targeting 20 pips because it's a scalping strategy again i will i have done a scalping video and you just go ahead and watch this video and you'll see how it will be of help so let's see what happens once you spot the hammer on four hour or daily or weekly whichever time frame you will spot go to five minutes chart so we are going to five minutes chart and this is how it looks like so these are a few five minutes chart now i told you that the the you see this this low is the bottom of the hammer if i put this line here and i go to four hour is the bottom of the hammer so my exit i don't want a candle on five minutes breaking like that so if i see a candle on five minutes breaking that support you will see it clearly on five minutes 
That's what I'm saying. If I come here and I see my market breaking that I am out, that's the exit of the trade. Remember, I keep saying that a good strategy needs an entry. A very good strategy needs an entry and also needs a target and also needs an exit. Remember, uh, for the entry, we are using hammer, hammer on four hour and then for and then hammer on four hour and um bullish engulf bullish engulf on five minutes so um we have defined very well the entry the target have we defined the target 20 pips don't be greed and target 50 this is five minutes so and then exit if support breaks and this support happens to be the lowest point of the hammer so now that one is in place now can we now identify bullish and gaff? i know there are people who don't know how bullish and gaff looks like so let's say I have a red candle. So bullish engulf, I need a red candle and I need an engulfing green candle. That's what bullish engulf looks like. So I'm looking for a candle like this. So if I come here and I want to look for a bullish engulf, do I have a very good example of a bullish engulf? You see this? This green engulfing the red is a good example and also here i have green green engulfing the cosmo red here it's a good example bullish engulf okay that's how bullish engulf is and i also have this this magnificent this green it's so green big green momentum engulfing the red so at least you have a clue of bullish engulf you can do more study research on the on the pattern of the candle. So now, can we wait for the bullish engulf? So if I have a bullish engulf, I need, you see, I have a red candle. I need a green candle engulfing that red. Now I can say I have bullish engulf. So let's wait together and see what happened. What happened? So you can see immediately the market continue to go down, continue to go down like that, went down, came uh went up and we got our bullish angle can you see now we have a bullish angle that is the correct bullish angle that is the correct bullish angle like that can you see it has engulfed now we want to target we are targeting 20 pips 20 pips up to there so that is our 20 pips guys and then Remember our exit, if this market does like this, a red candle breaking that support, just close your trade. But what you can do is that from, from here up to here is 12 pips, you can put a stop loss of 20 pips and do a risk of 1 is to 1 ratio. 1 is to 1 ratio. So you'll come and put your long position. And these are trade that I took last week, guys. This is the trade. It was on Thursday. It was a trade I took last week. I am working on this strategy once. It's, <laughs> I even don't have a name on it. I'm still working on it. But imagine the fact that I've come with it, it is working. So you have to go and test it out and come and comment down below. So this strategy number one, it is uh it is giving you a risk to reward ratio of one is to one. So you don't need to be worried. Oh, what if, what if? And let's see what happened to our chart. So you can see sometimes um a trade where you are not even sure will it hit TP, will it not hit TP? How long will it take? And our TP was hit, and even the market continued. Now the drawdown that we had on this trade, the drawdown we had on this trade was uh, 12 pips. 12 pips was the drawdown 
And how long did it take uh, from 9.30? So we got an entry midnight um, and all the way to 9.30. So 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. So it took nine hours for 20 pips. And you can try to test it on, on, on gold or any other volatile pair. So my 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 thing is this is one of the best uh strategy also for scalping and um you can see what is happening so anytime you spot a hammer you know now what to do i hope you'll practice this strategy and all i can wish you is the best bye bye love you see you in the next one